lost for my passport. And I'll tell you later about the end phone. So guys, we're now here in the law office and if you want to get your affidavit to us, it's just 500 pesos each. So Chad wants to get one also for his driver's license because remember he lost his driver's license six, six months ago. So now he will process it so I can get my ID also because he wants me to wait for him yes. before we process the ID because I still have a temporary driver's license. So I need yes. a card. Yeah. She wants to go get a new, the actual card card which I had yeah. but when I lost my billfold several months ago last year last year. last calendar year i did do an affidavit of loss but it expired at the end of the year i believe so now we're going to do a new one so that you go get your license and i'll yeah, get my my get card together, again yeah. so killing two birds with one stone here 500 uh, uh, pesos a piece her passport and my driver's yeah, license yeah and also my passport so that's a good deal. gonna process my passport yes It is located in the third floor. <clears throat> and after this, we need to go to police station to get the incident report. Incident report, right? Police report, yes, yes. police report. That's one of the requirements to get the passport lost, lost passport. So I just want to say thank you to Ruth, it's uh, Roselle's sister for recommending me this place and it's it's good, it's very cheap, it's just uh, 500 pesos. I remember Chad when, when he got his uh, affidavit of loss before somewhere in Alabanias, it's 800 and this one is very recommendable. Thank you so much. Yeah. 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 Yes. Oh, so we can... uh, oh, oh, we got a card. Do you have a card at yours? Uh, no, some... I didn't bring my card. So we can follow you. Yes, that's mine. And, yeah. and we can, here, let's write on the back what Anne's is as well, because she's going to do a lot okay. more. Of a... yeah. So we can follow you. Cool. Yes, our cards are usually on back and forth, but they're front and back. Her channel is Adventures. Yeah. Adventures of Anne. It's her channel name, and then mine is that Chubbs Dub C on the front. Okay, sorry. Okay, thank, thank you, you so much. much. See you. Okay. Joe for cats. <laughs> what are you yelling about out here? Uh, it's just located here in Mountain View across Walking Street. Walking Street is that? Flores, third floor. In Mount Arthur Highway. Uh, you actually got to walk up a few flights of stairs, but that's all right. For 500 pesos, it's pretty cheap. Watch out, dry fish. Yeah, just 500 pesos. Oh, my dry fish. We will try, guys, to go to the police station in case, just in case, so we're ready. In case it needs the police report, so we have one. We just need to be sure. Okay. I just want to make sure because when Ruth processed her passport, also same same issue, issues with me, she get a police report. And I just want to make sure that's why we're going there in the police station right now. So we're here, we're still here in Wine Street. Station 4 It's 
one of the requirements for our, our new passport and driver's license for Chad. Police report. Uh, Baby, we need uh, no. We need affidavit of loss. Hello, guys. So we already got our, our police report. So Chad has one, and I also got one. And it's free. Police report is free here in um, Balibago Station, Station Four. Four. Balibago Station Four. Good. Yeah, it's our first time doing this. So ah, I was surprised. It's it's free. Yeah. Huh? Good. Don't know if we need it, but it's and nice no to have. hassle. They will. Uh, nice to have. They will entertain you as long as you have the complete, uh, complete details that they want. So it was nice of them know, to yeah. point out if we needed anything. Yeah. So in so everything looks good. In June stuff. 27, it's my, it's my uh, it's my appointment for the passport and. This coming Thursday is my day off, so we're gonna process our driver's license. Yeah. Okay, so thank you guys. LTO. Here we're going we go. to LTO, yeah. That should be an experience. <laughs> well, the first... ah, LTO. It's not bad. We're when in I went... front of the police station, so I need to wear a helmet. Yeah, yeah. She wanted to roll in here without her helmet on. I'm like, you know what? That's probably not a good idea when you go to the police station without a helmet on. No, I just, uh, no, I just forgot. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Okay, ready? Yes. Hello guys, we just got home. And yeah, I need to get a new passport because um, I can't get my passport because it's stuck in the agency where I plan to work, when I plan to work um, overseas. So it didn't work out because I got pregnant to Justin. That's why. But if I want to get my passport in the agency, they want me to pay 8,800, something like that, before they, release the, before they release my passport. So I don't want to pay that much. So I decided to, to get a new passport instead. I already have a stamp in my passport because I went to Thailand before 2020, 2019. But it's just a stamp. Chad says it's just a stamp. So. One of my co-worker in Mikos, Ruth, uh, so we have this, the same issues about our passport. So she already have her passport now. So she filed a affidavit of loss and then she get the police report and then scheduled in DFA. So yeah, that's it. And I like that also because I did a new, a new pictures. They want you to take a new pictures and I like that because I'm so haggard in my old passport. And then it's hassle free. And then it's hassle free because all you need to do is to go to your, to the nearest law office and it's just 500 pesos here. But I don't know the other law office if how much. And then after that, go to the police station to get a police report for free it's free so i i like that i like that so and it's quick also it's also quick and then after that we go home because i already have scheduled for dfa in the june 27th so yeah all of that process i will i will film it so thank you for tuning in guys and see you in my next vlog